identified seven new clusters related to NC State. The largest cluster at University Towers and includes 17 positive cases of COVID-19. Tonight, 86 people are in isolation or quarantine on campus and 891 are in isolation off campus. CBS 17's Imani Payne live tonight in Raleigh, digging deeper to find out what's being done to stop the spread of the virus. Imani. The school released these new guidelines following an increase in COVID-19 cases on campus. They must be followed on and off campus, and if students don't follow the new rules, they will face consequences. Another day, another COVID cluster at NC State. The school now reporting a cluster here at University Towers and clusters at six other student living facilities as well for a total of 63 new cases between them. I, I think just like general paranoia is what kind of came over me when I first saw the email and saw that there were six cases in there. Mary Soul has two daughters at the school, one choosing to stay, the other who lives in Owen Hall, which has five COVID cases, now choosing to move out. You know, don't party. My friend actually got COVID because her friend went to a frat party and now she's quarantined at home. So just stay safe. It can be sucky even if you're young. We're going to go home and we already discussed getting tested. So we'll do that and quarantine. So that's what we're doing. We're packing up and heading home hoping for the best. School staff now asking students living in those affected dorms to come here to the Student Health Center to get tested. Students living in this dorm that has eight COVID cases are getting tested tomorrow. None of my friends have tested positive. They've never been in contact with anybody, so I think I'm going to come out clean. Today, the school saying students may face some kind of university disciplinary action in the future if they don't start following the rules. There's a protest scheduled here on campus on Thursday evening in response to all of these COVID cases. You can find information about that at CBS17.com. For now, we're live in Raleigh, Imani Payne, CBS17 News.